Alright, what's going on everyone? So, as you guys have noticed, I've been doing a lot of reselling videos lately because they've been heavily requested by the fans. Everyone's been saying, hey, keep doing these reselling videos and all that, and they've given me suggestions, video ideas I need to do. And I understand that, but then I've also gotten suggestions from fans saying, hey, you know, you need to go back to really your discussion videos, not just your videos on regular reselling stuff and giving information. And really, some of them have been giving really same tips, and they've said, hey, maybe you should spread out a bit again and really get back to your old channel style that was really, really, really good. Like, my channel style now is okay, but now I need to make it better. So, today's video, I'm going to discussing really Palace. I'm be going through really, is Palace worth your money? Now obviously Palace is a brand, they've been around since 2011 and many people buy from Palace. So today I'm really going to be getting into detail and explaining if Palace is worth your money and obviously be sure you guys do subscribe for Supreme Vape and really now Palace, I'm starting to discuss it more. So you guys can subscribe for those three things, videos like this, hypey stuff, reselling videos which I'll take a break from for a little bit, like a couple weeks maybe. We'll really see, but basically I'm going to get straight into this video. Hope you all will enjoy. Let's shoot for 15 likes in this video. So if you don't mind dropping a like, that'd be awesome. And anyways, we're going to get straight into this video and I hope you all will enjoy it. All right, so really the first thing I'd like to discuss about Palace is their pricing. Now, obviously, we know things about Palace. We know their quality of their shirts and tees and everything else is usually really, really good. When they come to quality, they're definitely the brand you want to go and see if someone's looking and saying, hey, I need a hype beast brand that has good quality and has okay prices. Then people are going to head over to Palace because Palace is on the rise. They've only been around for six years and they already have a huge following, I'd say. And when going into quality, they're definitely there. Hopefully, they don't lose that aspect. A sort of like Supreme has, I think they've lost their quality aspect a bit lately, but I think they're starting to find it again and palace definitely needs to keep on it. if they keep on the quality part they definitely may be a big competitor for some of those even bigger hype beast brands but in general i think palace pricing is reasonable usually your tees are around like the 50 dollar range use a higher 50s because shipping to the u.s is like 12 dollars or so so really been getting into it the shirt prices are worth it they're definitely good tees when you get to the hats my friend had a hat i saw it in hand i wore it and it was definitely something special like the design was sick everything about it was really nice the quality was there so basically the first thing with palace and discussing it the pricing is definitely something that is good is definitely worth your money in that aspect and then but the quality I definitely think is nice so you have a lot of good things to look forward to with Palace because they're definitely not going to let you down on any of those things right there and obviously their prices haven't been too high but there are a couple of other things I'd like to discuss that are sort of negative about Palace and then I'll probably go back to a couple positive things so let's get straight into some of the negative things so a couple negatives more or less one main negative I would like to discuss is Palace's failure with big brand collabs now I understand Palace has done some successful collabs with bigger brands but one collab that recently failed that was with a big brand was Palace Adidas this Paladitas and so many people were hyped for it but then when you got the drop time not a lot of the items have resale value now and they're actually not too valuable as of now and really you still have items sitting in stores like the indoor sneakers and the bathrobe was sort of pointless so really when getting into it that's the one problem with Palace right now is that they need to make sure they have more success in collabing with big brands like right now Babe could do a collab with Adidas and it'd be worth extremely it just be it'd be worth so much it'd be something really special and if Supreme were to do one with Adidas it'd be worth a lot now obviously Babe has already done one with Adidas and those items are extremely valuable from all that collection and Babe Basically, Palace just needs to make sure they work on their really idea right there where they're able to collab with big brands and then they have a lot of success, they have a lot of resale value, and they're worth something. And that's something Palace needs to work on right there. It's just making sure when they collab with big brands, they always have valuable. They're dropping reasonable items, not bathrobes and random sneakers that are going to sit in stores and stuff like that. And they're actually dropping items that people are going to want, people are going to look at, say, hey, that's dope, and make sure they have a lot of really good design on them. And that's definitely one thing right there. Palace is usually good with design, but also they've been a bit weak when collabing with big brands and designs. I guess it's more or less an Adidas influence when you have the black and white colorways on pretty much all the items. So really when getting into it, this is definitely something Palace needs to work on. It's making sure they have success when collabing with bigger brands. Okay, quick break. I'm not saying that Palace has never had success when collabing with big brands. I'm just saying they definitely need to work in it because this season their collaborations with big brands didn't necessarily work out. And I'm not saying they're a failure whenever they collab with big brands. I'm just saying they need to work on it. Now, another negative about Palace. Now, they're not the only people that do this and I know it's pretty hard to do this, but I think they need to start dropping items more often. And this is another negative is that they don't drop items too frequently. Like, they don't have enough drops during the season. And I understand, like, brands like Bape also do not drop items too really often. And I understand it sometimes is able to hold value of items. But really, when you get into it, it's something very important when growing a brand. It's like me with YouTube. I upload daily, but obviously, I'm putting uploads out daily so you guys can see them every day. And obviously, it helps my channel grow. Obviously, I'm doing different videos now, too, instead of just sort of throwing in all these resale videos because that will also help me expand my idea. So really, when getting into it, that's definitely something else Palace needs to do is making sure that they actually get get good ideas out there maybe try to do it every two weeks or so and not take these long breaks isn't it hurts the name of the brand and obviously i understand it builds hype if items are leaked but really if they drop items every two weeks then they gain a little even more loyal fan base they'd have definitely more followings more sales and it'd probably help the brand in my opinion and that really just gets into it they need to start dropping even more good items every two weeks they just really need to step up their game and obviously they are a new business so it's understandable that they've only been around for six years and they're already doing so well it's pretty hard to start dropping items every two weeks eventually it's really been getting into it 
I think they need to work on that aspect of dropping items more often. A final point I really would like to discuss, it is definitely a positive, is how Palace has built a name for some of their items. Like, for example, people from Palace are not always looking forward to, like, hey, I'm looking forward to the P3D, the Triford, Zodiac. I'm looking forward to all these really dope things that Palace usually drops. And Palace is starting to build their name with some of these items, and they're starting to really get their own little box logo or bathing ape shark hoodie, and they're really starting to build their name and start getting these valuable items that people want. And they're just as valuable as a Supreme box logo in people's other opinions. So, I mean, getting into it, they're starting to build their name for some of their items. That's very important when growing a brand. Like, people, most people for Supreme come from the box logo now. And obviously, if Palace is going to start building their name or P3Ds and Trifergs, you're going to start having a lot more people come in for those items. And when looking at it, that's definitely something positive Palace has done is built some really great items and started to build their brand through that. And that's definitely something I respect them for. It's definitely something great. So, when getting into it, that's definitely a positive is how Palace has really formed these great items that have a lot of value and people are always looking forward to copying them. Okay, so to really give you all a closing statement, is Palace worth your money? Yes, it is definitely worth your money. When building their name for itself, obviously then getting their name out there and getting this dope design and really building their whole brand in general in a short amount of time, really putting everything together with okay prices also, I think Palace is definitely worth it. You pay $50 for a hat, I've seen it in hand, the quality is good, it is nice, and things are definitely worth your money when you're buying from Palace. So to really give you guys an overall update, I would definitely cop Palace, it is definitely worth your money. And really going on to copying Palace, I have a couple videos about copying Palace coming soon. It's not like resale videos or any of that. It's like hauls and like buying Palace stuff. So you guys will see that soon and hopefully you all are looking forward to that. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like soon is within maybe the next month or like I'd say two weeks, not months. Sorry. But really been getting into it. Palace is definitely worth your money. Anyways though, thank you all for watching this video. It means a lot to guys take your time to stop by and really just watch my videos every day. I just appreciate it so much. And uh, you know, uh, be sure you guys do leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy. I highly appreciate it. Let's shoot for 15 likes in this video. That would be amazing. And also be sure you guys subscribe if you're new for you know, the normal Supreme Bait Palace stuff and all that. Be sure you guys do subscribe for that. I'd highly appreciate it. And anyways, thank you all for watching this video. And I hope you all as a new subscriber in my next one.